Okay. Are we good to go? We're good to go. Thank you, Robert. Ooh. <laughs> you remember 15 minutes. <laughs> Whoa, point. We're good. Whoa. We're good. Hey guys, it's Chet, the Urban Redneck. We're going to do something a little different today. I'm going to take you along on a tournament hunt so you can see what it looks and feels like. We're going to break it down, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Whoa. I'm going to tell that guy to squat over there. Get ready to squat. Whoa. Yeah. I don't want a safety on that. This is a tough shot. I try to produce the bird to the left, but it veers off to the right, and I have to make a surgical shot and still miss the planter. The camera made it look closer than it actually was. Here, Carter. Come here. Good boy. Drop. Let's go. I don't want... At this point, we've got a gate bird in the bag at a pretty good time, and so we're looking for that second bird. This is a crazy sport. Anything could go wrong. Anything could change. You could have the best dog, be a great shooter, and luck will always still get you. But we're pressing on here. Point. Good. To be awarded a point, your dog must freeze and lock up for a minimum of three seconds. Whoa. Dakota makes a pretty good point here, and he finds a second bird pretty quickly, but mm -hmm. I can't find it in the grass. So finally, I urge him to come up a little bit and find the bird. Unfortunately, after he finds it, he breaks a little early, making this shot tough too. But somehow, we pull it together. Whoa, whoa, no, back up, no. This bird jumps up and then starts a semi-circle left. It takes me a second to get my lead, and then I drop it. Dakota brings that bird back so fast. He's an amazing bird dog. You know, we really had trouble training this last year because in Southern California, we had a Newcastle breakout and we couldn't get training birds. Then COVID hit. So it's been really hard to work on being steady to shot. That's great. Now you can't see it, but what's starting to happen in my head is I'm thinking, hey, I got two birds pretty quickly. I might have a chance to win this thing. I'm competing against 16 other hunters but I've got a rocking time going. Oh Lord, don't let anything happen now. It's all about the pressure you put on yourself. Oh, six inches off his nose. Yeah. So right now is the next mind bender. You start thinking about the field, all the different quadrants, and you start to worry. Did I walk by something? Have I been thorough? It's a good time to start trusting your bird dog. Come on, Dakota, run boy, run. Dakota is still a pretty young bird dog, but he's got some amazing tools. The kind of tools you can't train. He's got a fabulous nose, and he's super agile. Boy, can he run. You know, all the little things, we've got time. You know, we can train. We can work things out. We can be steady to shot. But I'll tell you what, he's got some amazing gifts. The time's ticking away, and again, the pressure builds. <laughs> Boy. Bingo, and just like Whoa. that, hopes Whoa. renewed. Now the question is, can I get there, can we produce the bird, and can I make the shot? I don't want to let my dog down, and I'm moving up as fast as I can. In the pointing division, it's up to the hunter to produce the bird. And again, I can't find the darn thing. So I invite Dakota up to help me find it again, but this time he breaks. It makes for a crazy shot. He gets real close. Bird comes up, but it gets far enough away, and I make a clean shot.
Not picture perfect, but it'll definitely do in a pinch. Here, no, here. Here, no, here. I want to have to safety that. Oh, so hold on. In the background, you can hear me say that I almost called a safety on that. A hunter can call a safety if he feels like the shot is too dangerous because his dog or people are in the way. Nobody likes to call a safety because everybody wants to make the shots, but sometimes you just have to do it. Fortunately, this wasn't one of those. At this point, the pressure's definitely reached a crescendo. I know I've got three birds in the bag, a good time going, and we need this last bird. Come on, Dakota. Come on, Dakota. You can find it. Boy, but if he finds it, am I going to be able to make the shot? Ah, so much goes through your head. How many birds? Oh, Boy. good. At this point, every second's gold. He's on point. I got to get there. Oh, my gosh. Where's the bird? I can't find it. I can't find it. Inside, I'm secretly panicking. I inch Dakota up again. Dakota, help me out. Help the old guy out. Whoa. Where is it? Whoa, whoa. whoa. Here we are on our last point, mm -hmm. and something again mm -hmm. funky happens. Mm -hmm. Dakota makes the point. I inch him in. Whoa. I'm having trouble finding the bird, and it kind of comes up weird just a little behind me. Dakota moves in, and the bird sets back down, but then it jumps up. Oh, nice. But bang. I make the shot. Here, here, here. here. That was here. nice. Time, Robert. 637. Woo! Woo! Nice. It's hard to describe that total elation when you finally made the last shot. Your dog has made the retrieve and he's running back. You just feel like a jockey on the home stretch calling him home. What a great and awesome feeling. Total exuberance. At the end of the day, we posted the fastest run by a mere eight seconds. But in the 17th round, we lost to another competitor who came up with an extra find. And so it goes, had to settle for the silver.